Hello everyone. Today I'm going to help you try and set up Kudo Miner. I'm going to do everything that I've done to get it running. Once you've made your account, log in and we'll begin there. Alright, so we'll start off by changing the currency to your local currency in the top right. Or if you want it to read in another coin or value. Okay, now then we'll go over into payments and sort out the coin that you'd like to receive for your hash set the top one as your local currency or another coin that you want it to display in for me it's AUD um, I had to click the box in the middle and then you have four coins to pick from Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, Monero and Ravencoin my favorite okay once you've done that click save all right the next step we got to get the username that was provided to us it's in the top left that's what we use to log into all our miners to send our data back to the website as you can see in the bottom right of the page I already have three of my rigs running it'll give you uh, updates on what's going on if one has an error or requires attention Okay, now that's sorted, we'll set up the GPU. We go back to the home page on the website, click connect device, bottom right of the page. Click what you need for, for your system. Uh, Windows 10 might have an issue with it. If you do, I used uh, Firefox to solve that issue. Once you've got that downloaded, we'll enable the settings that turn the graphics card on. On the left click settings see that I've got these four settings here on the right of the screen all enabled enable all of them once you do come down to the NVIDIA algo click that enable the setting on the top right all right don't touch anything else once you've done that go back to the dashboard you should see your GPU starting up now after a while it will click running. Now we can go back to the website and monitor everything over there. Um, on the top left of the page, click pull, workers. Alright, now you can see my other rigs are all running. You can get a little bit of feedback here. Not as much as you can get from software and on the actual hardware itself. Nevertheless, it still helps. Next thing we'll look at is wallets. Once you've mined some coins and there's been a payment round, there's a lot of payment rounds a day, your wallet will just appear and you'll start obtaining them coins there. Next we'll have a look at the transactions. Gives you a bit more uh, information. This previous month of mining and my incomes. Now we'll have a look at actually withdrawing the funds. Click up the top in the middle select the coin that you want to move select the amount I'm just going to click max just to show everybody medium and then you guys know the rest if you don't have a wallet I'll show you the two that I use this is first one coinbase very popular lots of people already know this one the reason I like it is because you can earn some free coins just for doing simple little quizzes the fees are low the other one I use is CoinSpot and I'll bring that up we'll scroll through, scroll through that one the reason I use this one is because it's Australian based I'm Australian so it works really well for me it has more coins than a lot of other uh, exchanges do and I can cash it out straight away the links will be in the description for everything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.